Hi everyone. I just want to do a quick review on this uh, new rotary trimmer I got. It is by Exacto. Uh, sorry about the glare there. Uh, it is um, the compact rotary trimmer by Exacto. I got it at Walmart. It was $19.97, full price. Um, I want to do a review on this because I'm kind of disappointed in the quality of it. Um, I've had an, another trimmer for years. I got it at Dollar General like eight years ago. And it's finally, the blade is finally kaput on it and I can't use it anymore. And uh, craft stores for me are about an hour away one way. So I, I can't really go to a Michaels or an AC Moore to look around. So I figured I'd pick up this one here. This by Exacto from Walmart. Um, it's okay. Uh, I personally wouldn't recommend it. Um, it does have its bonuses. The uh, main bonus that this particular cutter has is the blade itself. You can take it out. It's just a little blade like this. You can buy the replacements at Walmart. I think they were like three dollars, so maybe a dollar or two more. And they just pop in and out real easy. So if the blade ever goes dull, you don't have to buy a whole new one like I had to with my old one. Um, so that is a bonus. Um, it is safe. It, it's got like a safety on it. So the blade doesn't expose until you push it down to do the actual cutting. It also has an arm that swings out, which is pretty standard for most cutters of this sort. A um, couple of the reasons why I don't particularly like this one. Uh, for the, the main one is that the measurements on it, on the main bar here, there's no measurements at all. Just squares that represent one inch. And then when you pull out the extension here, they're just, they're not... They go in quarter inch, eighth inch. I, I need it to be a little bit more exact because of some of the projects that I work on. The one cool thing that I did think this has is that it's got a five by seven, four by six, three and a half by five, which was not something that I've seen on any other particular ones that I've used. Um, my main, main issue with this is that on the container, it claims it cuts paper, photos, cardstock, plastic, and more. And it also, it has a little area on here where it says that it can cut up to five sheets at a time. Um, I find that highly unlikely. I haven't even tested it and this is why. Um, I'm working on a current project, uh, an accordion mini, and I'm working with regular paper and cardstock. Uh, I started with the regular paper. I could not get this to cut all the way through. It'll cut to be, it'll cut in the beginning, it'll cut in the end, sometimes it'll cut in the middle, but there's been every time consistently there's always been some area that did not cut completely. And then I'd have to go through with an actual X-Acto knife, rotary blade, something to finish the cut without it ruining the piece of paper I'm working on. Um, one thing I did notice is that because it has the safety press down, you have to make sure you're fully pressed down before you go across. And uh, if you go really slow and you're extremely careful, it'll cut all the way through. It does have a nice crisp cut when it does cut. However, it's not a straight line. I had a lot of problems with the this blade. It rocks and it makes the, the line swervy. And you're going to waste a lot of paper like that. And for someone like myself who is on a very little budget, I don't want to waste anything. So, I'm going to show you real quick with just a basic piece of 12 by 12 paper here. Get that lined up there. And you push. And you pull down. And as you can see, it didn't cut. <laughs> it didn't cut really bad. Let's try this again. Maybe push down a little bit harder. And this is with me pushing as hard as I can comfortably push from this crazy angle. And it did cut. It is a nice, it's a crisp line. There's no, there's no jagged edge on it. However, if you were to look incredibly close at it, it is not a straight line. Like if you want to set it down on something flat or want it to line up with another flat surface, it's not going to because it doesn't cut completely straight. Even if you have your paper in there straight, it doesn't cut completely straight. 
So overall, I don't think that this particular item is worth the $20. I'm pretty sure I could find something so much better on my next trip to the, the Michaels or the AC Moore, Hobby Lobby, uh, Joann's, any craft store for that matter. So uh, I believe that if you have the patience to deal with this and having to go slow and be precise, I would highly recommend it because like I said, it does have a crisp line. But if you don't want to have to waste paper like this here, then I would definitely say don't buy this particular one. I would watch out for Michaels or AC Moore to have a better quality one and use, there's always 40%, 50% off coupons. So that's what I would recommend. Uh, I, I really wanted to like this. I really was hoping it would work for me and I wasn't going to have to take another trip out to a craft store, but you get what you pay for, I guess. And uh, I hope this review was helpful. If you have any questions, just go ahead and leave a comment. Um, I'll have more info and pictures on my blog. The link is in the down bar. Bye.